You know, um, the, you've written about addiction and the sort of one dimensional thinking about what human beings are with, for by people who aim to solve addiction, that it's a brain disease. And you have to, in order to make that view stick and actually work in any way, you have to see humans as one dimensional. Although you can't, you can't really fulfill that. That doesn't work out. But that's how, when I've written about uh, Nora Volkow and now uh, a bugaboo of mine is Anna Lempke, who talks mm -hmm. about, that, you know, it's uh, addiction is a disease. It hijacks your brain and it just creates these reinforcements and you just can't get over them. So in some ways, I'm extremely optimistic since I see human beings as so multidimensional and complex in a beautiful way. And that's what you're saying is the um, is what people perhaps are being less and less capable of seeing about themselves, that they are so multidimensional and have there's more to life than this series of sort of reinforcements. Yeah, I think you're totally and I to say you've done such excellent work on Nora Volkow and um, you're absolutely right. And there's a guy called Professor David Purple, um, who's at uh, NYU, who I interviewed, a neuroscientist. He says, you know, the way neuroscience dominant, the dominant way of talking and thinking about neuroscience at the moment is really behaviorist. It's really Skinnerian. Right. It's incredibly reductionist, simplistic. Um, you know, Skinner literally this sounds like it can't be true but he literally said that people don't have minds they are just the sum total of the rewards and reinforcements that they receive right we believe we have a mind but that's merely an illusion we're just the product of our reinforcements and Nora Volkow and the, the other neuroscientists who talk about addiction I mean it's pretty close to that right that we're just sort of these sort of it's an extraordinarily reductionist way of thinking about about um about the brain and who we are um and yeah I, so i really strongly agree with you on that